All right, guys and girls, Shardy signing in. Um, just a little update on the tank. Um, I basically I told one of my subscribers, Wesley, that I'd uh, do a little demo of this lightning storm um, on the Radions, which, to be honest, isn't that impressive, if you ask me. Um, I think the Profilux system, once they bring out the update for it, um, will do a lot better job. Um, personally, I would like, I don't know, I'd dim the lights down a lot more and then let the lightning flash as opposed to having it on this immediately bright setting. Um, but anyway, there it is, lightning in action. Um, just update on a few things I've done. Um, we've got over there, the return pipes have been plumbed in. Um, and the... Uh, the, that horrible pump that you might have seen that I was having the whole debate with in the last video um, has been has gone and the solution is on its way actually I've ordered it today which is a self priming pump um, as mentioned before uh, it did cost me a little bit a uh, little bit over 300 quid um, but considering I paid like 130 40 for the ugly thing that was sat there um, I'm quite happy because I think now this pipe down here on the left I mean it just it doesn't ruin the look as much as having a big ugly pipe there I don't know what you guys think but I definitely think it looks a lot neater uh, and I'm pretty happy with that um, as far as somebody else asked actually there was a there was a ver earlier video about these radions and when one of them went and just to let any, everyone know that it's basically due to having the USB um, cable plugged in there um, if you power them up with the USB in it knocks one of the lights off and you need to wait a few hours um, before it comes back on which I think is pretty poor really um, because I did plan on keeping the USB cable in there so I'd, all, you know, I'd always have access to do updates and things like that so yeah not great and hopefully uh, Ecotech will come up with a firmware update to maybe solve that little problem um, on another note this arrived today that's my uh, Vortec battery backup now I'll tell you what this thing is like I never realised how big it is and the weight I mean whoa I mean I can't I cannot pick that up with, I can pick that up just with one hand it is absolutely I mean, it weighs a ton, and I've got to end up racking it, um, basically, inside here on the wall up there. So, whew, I mean, I just hope the screws I put in are going to hold it, really. Um, so, yeah, um, like I say, not much to, to update on, really. Got to get that uh, self-priming pump in. Um, decorators have now confirmed they're coming on Wednesday, so... By then I should be able to put the wedge in. Here is my fantastic sculpted designed wedge that I'm going to be using to prop that underneath there. And that will make the tank completely level. As you probably saw in an earlier video, the, um, the tank was out. And when we did the, uh, the water test blunder, which is all I can call it, um, we saw that the water was out. Um, a little bit it was sloping down on the side so that wedge is going to solve that problem um, and what else have I been doing I've actually been trying to get wireless access for my Profilux um, system and I bought something that somebody recommended off a forum um, which has been a complete waste of time I've put it back in the box now and wrapped it up so can't show you because that's going back so I'm buying um, a D-Link which is going to give me the um, um, basically Ethernet access <coughs> excuse me and allow a web server allow me to do a web server um, that I can go to a website that will let me see um, you know all the parameters of the tank and with this D-Link unit I can also pluck an Ethernet webcam into it as well that I plan on putting uh, next to the aquarium so I can watch my fishies while I'm away so uh, that's that looks like we're in pitch darkness now as the unit's gone off so perfect time to say shoddy signing out